One of the questions viewers ask a lot is how can they prepare and store science for grafting? There are a few reasons why you would want to cut, prepare and store science to use at a later date. One of the most common is the need to wait for warmer weather, when sap is flowing, which is needed for some grafting techniques, and it's best to use dormant science. So, science have to be cut a few weeks before, when they are still dormant, and they are stored in the fridge until they are needed. The most used science are often cut from one year vigorous growth. Wood should be straight and have lots of narrow, vegetative buds. Avoid older wood with fruit flower buds that are typically wider. The science should be similar to a pencil in diameter for most of the usual grafting techniques. I have a habit of writing the name of the variety in the science with a permanent marker. This helps to avoid errors when manipulating science of several different varieties and simplifies the job. If material is abundant, you should prefer the center of each young branch, rejecting the tip and the bottom. The center of the branch will have the most uniform diameter and it usually heals and develops better. It's best to store longer branches and cut them just before grafting, but you can also store them in smaller cuts. The cuts should have at least 4 buds, so the grafted piece will end up with 2 or 3. Avoid adding wet paper or any kind of moisture when storing science. This will only develop mold. Wrap the science well in kitchen film folding the ends after each full turn. You can insert a piece of paper with the name of the variety in the last turn or write over the film with a permanent marker. Tightly closed inside the plastic film, the science won't lose any moisture and will last 2 or 3 months in good condition when stored in the vegetable drawer of the fridge. I have used science after 3 months of storage that still were in perfect shape, with no mold or dehydration. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share and leave a comment to support the channel.